manometer, do 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 do, manometer, do 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 do, manometer, do 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 do. Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about why the ET tube cuff manometer is such an important piece of equipment and why we should be using it on every single intubated patient to make sure that we're not causing harm. So we're all familiar with the cuff here on the ET tube. The purpose of this cuff is to eliminate that negative space, that opening in between the outside of the endotracheal tube and the lining of the tracheal wall. Because when we're pushing air through this down to the patient's lungs, we don't want it to escape around on the edge of this so the cuff keeps that from happening. But what usually happens when we innovate our patients? Yeah, we grab a syringe and we slam it full of water and it's water. We slam it full of air and we tend to overfill it. And I have in the history of my career never checked a tube that wasn't already checked by a manometer and found it to be within a safe range of pressure. It's always overfilled, which is why it's so important that we come in with the manometer, and it's really fun to say, and check these pressures. So literature demonstrates that the safe pressure is between 20 and 30 centimeters of water in the adult patient and 15 to 20 on the pediatric patient, which makes sense because their tracheas are a little bit more delicate and fragile. Now think about these, these skin, the soft tissue on the inside of your trachea. It's not tough and, and hardened like the palm of your hand is, which is used to be getting bonked on things and picking things up and having sharp things touch it. The inside of your trachea is such delicate, fragile tissue. And so even just an overfilled ET tube cuff is going to damage it. And the literature also demonstrates that any pressure greater than 30 centimeters of water is shown to impair tracheal capillary perfusion and anything greater than 50 centimeters of water totally occludes any perfusion to that tracheal capillary bed. So what do we do? We wanna check our pressures, make sure they're safe. Adults, 20 to 30, peds, 15 to 20. Now, what's the harm on underinflating it? So then you don't have that occlusion of that negative space and not only will air pass through there and it'll be more difficult to, to ventilate the patient, but also slobber and all kinds of gross germs from the patient's mouth will run down around that and you have a 400% increase in the rate of ventilator-associated pneumonia. So there you have it. Use your cuff manometer. Doo, 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 